Hello, welcome back. So before we move on, let me once again do a quick recap. And it's important, you know, that is how you know what all you have read and how to connect the next lessons. So this is all about gaining confidence in front of an audience, right? So the first thing that we learned even before gaining confidence is what are the communication apprehensions? And we looked at various uh, types and techniques and tactics to overcome these apprehensions. Then we looked at how to build confidence using uh, preparation of speech. So we have already seen how to prepare a speech, but then during preparation, how do we build confidence? And that confidence should show when we are on the stage. Now what we are going to see is, now that we have uh, worked upon our apprehensions, we know how to fight it out, we have uh, tried to build confidence using our thoughts and then preparations, so on and so forth. Now, how do we make our audience know or uh, we can show our uh, audience that we are confident by using variance in our speech. This particular topic I had dealt with in level one of public speaking uh, section, but I'm going to give you certain examples here. So we are going to, now that we are going to become seasoned speakers, you know, never forget this, we are tuning our mind to become seasoned speakers, confident speakers, great speakers. So always keep writing these things to yourself, always think these thing, uh, things to yourself. You remember that funnel that I had made, positive thoughts and visualize that you are a very, very confident speaker. So now what are we going to do? In order for us to sound confident, now you would say that how do we sound confident? In our previous uh, sections, we saw that through our appearance, through how we walk, how we talk, we can make people feel or we can ourselves within feel that we are confident. How do we use um, variations in our speech and make people feel that we are confident. And I'll give you certain examples and I'll make you think that, do you think that these kind of speeches make the speaker confident, look confident or sound confident or not, okay? So let's quickly look at how we can bring in variance and make ourselves confident, okay? All right, so bring variance. Variance means the word itself is very important. Variance means, it comes from the word called vary, which is like variety. Variety. Um, take some time and think about situations wherein you are asked to choose gifts, okay? You go to a shop and all that you see is soft toys. How do you feel? You wanted a lot of options for gifts, okay? You wanted uh, board games, you wanted um, outdoor games, you wanted a cricket bat, you wanted a hockey uh, stick, you wanted hockey ball, you wanted badminton rackets, you wanted uh, skates, you wanted skateboards. But all you see there is soft toys. That puts you off, right? Because there is no variety. So variants bring confidence. How does that happen? And this var variance is of course the variance that you bring in your speech, how you deliver your speech. Okay, now let's quickly look at how do we bring in variance in our speech. Um, variance, the opposite of variance is the word called monotony. Monotony means repetition of the same thing, monotonous. Okay, when the same thing gets repeated with no variance. Variety is the order of the life. Okay, so you need variety in your life. We avoid monotony, that is something which is um, repeated or mundane we call it, in speech by multiplying our powers of speech. We have been given the power of speaking. We have to multiply this, you know, multiply the powers that have been vested to us. We multiply our powers of speech by increasing our tools. Okay, so what do we do? How do we get rid of monotony in our speech? And how do we multiply our powers of speech? And by multiplying, how do we increase our tools? Uh, what kind of tools should we increase so that we 
multiply our power. So, you see there are, there are three words here. Avoid monotony, multiply our powers of speech and we multiply our powers of speech by increasing our tools. Now, what are these tools which are available at our hands? Okay. These tools are and I had shared this in our previous uh, slides also in our previous lessons also. There are lots and lots of tools that we have. Now, uh, when I had given you an example of fighting with a lion or fighting with a tiger or fighting with anyone for that matter, when you've decided not to fly but fight, you need certain tools, arms, uh, armors, tools, shields, all these things you need if you have to fight. And now if you are fighting your fears and you've already fought your fears but you want to look confident through your voice by bringing variance in your voice, how do you do that? Okay. So you do that and the tools, I'll write it here. What are the tools which are available in our hands? Okay. The first tool that we have is our voice. And you see here powers of speech, the voice that God has given us. So we'll use the first tool which is voice. Now herein we are going to use lot of variation. Okay, and I will bring you back or take you back to whatever we had discussed on uh, the various types of voices. Okay, and you remember I had said that we use our mouth, we use our tongue, we use our lips, we use our larynx, we use our throat, we use the air, okay, to talk. Okay, so these are the things we need if you have to take out voice from our mouth. Now the tools that we have and the power of speech that we and we have to increase these tools so that our powers of speech gets multiplied so that we can break monotony. So it's, it's that simple. Tools, okay, increase your tools that will in turn help you increase the powers of your speech. Now what are these? Okay, so in voice we had seen that we, the variance can come through modulations. can come through whenever you are using modulation, you are increasing, decreasing, pace and all that. So, modulations in your voice, pace we will touch uh, separately of course, then pitch, okay, then pace. These are the tools that we have, the voice tools that we have, increasing our tools, modulations, pitch, pace intonations all right then we also have pace these are all we've already discussed but what i'm going to do in the subsequent sections is i'm going to give you certain examples and make you understand that how do we bring in these variations so that that it helps us in multiplying our powers of speech. Modulation, pitch, pace, intonation, pace I've already written, sorry. Uh, modulations, pitch, pace, intonations. Uh, then you also have your emphasis. Okay. All these tools we will use so that whenever we talk, whenever the voice comes out, whenever we speak powers of speech that we have, we will sound confident and how will we sound confident because we are avoiding monotony before i end let's let me just quickly give you an example whatever i have said so far i said by giving example now if i say by giving example and we will meet in the next section do you get that uh, urge to move to the next section you don't because there is a monotony okay so in the subsequent sections we will see how should we counter these monotonies okay and so that when you, once you counter these monotonies you automatically sound confident and appear confident in front of your audience so i'll see you on the other side with lots and lots of example thanks for watching